Today we're going to cover the support definitional model of intellectual disabilities that you were introduced to in your reading. You also covered much on the characteristics of Down syndrome, but today we're going to talk a little bit about mental health issues and have a more in-depth discussion about cognitive and psychosocial development across the lifespan. Finally, I'll highlight a couple of tips on working with students with Down syndrome, and the full handout is on Moodle. Although you've read that intellectual disability involves impairments in intellectual functioning and practical adaptive living skills, the field has moved toward recognizing that these labels by IQ levels are not helpful, but what is helpful is a level of supports needed. So the American Association of Intellectual and Developmental Disabilities uses a classification system based on the type and the extent of support one may need to function in the natural settings of home and community. Intermittent supports are provided kind of as an as-needed basis. They can be episodic, one doesn't always need these supports, or they could be short-term, occurring during lifespan transitions, like a job loss or acute medical crisis. Limited supports are those supports characterized by consistency. The time required may be limited, but the need is not intermittent. Some examples include time-limited employment training and supports during transition from school to adulthood. My friend Kathleen's son made use of limited support when transitioning in from transition services into a job at Sam's Club. Extensive supports are characterized by regular involvement on a daily basis in at least some environments, such as work and home. Supports are not time limited and may include long-term job and home living support. My brother Ben is at the Special K Ranch in Montana. He has consistent oversight in work and home, but he is in the most independent housing and enjoys growing tomatoes for northwestern Montana and caring for the livestock set in the mountains of Columbus. He has house parents and job supervisors that help support his work. He recently was named Rancher of the Year, which was pretty cool. The last level of support are pervasive supports that are constant and of high intensity. They have to be provided across multiple environments and may be life-sustaining in nature. These typically involve more staff and are more intrusive than extensive or time-limited supports.